Hi guys, welcome back. I have been getting locked, and I say a lot, I mean like five requests for my everyday jewelry. And I love this question because I always look up to girls, like the cool girls with the everyday jewelry that they just don't take off. And that is something I wanted for myself. Where every day I want to be just wearing my jewelry nonstop in the shower, in the pool, to the gym all that so that's kind of the goal with my jewelry collection it's very simple like i wouldn't say i wear like a ton of jewelry uh, you'll notice a theme where everything is basically from the same place i have an obsession with like 14 karat gold kind of dainty jewelry that's very stackable that's really much very much my thing so let's get into it Starting off with my necklace i do get a lot of questions about this little thing it's really cute it's like a tiny solitaire diamond and it's bezeled so that means it has kind of like a gold setting around it and this is like i wanted a like little tiny necklace to fit right in between my um would you call that your collarbone i don't know like right in the center there that's where i wanted the little sparkle to be so i got this from furco's fine jewelry on etsy you'll see everything is basically from there really cute and um I have to look at the size I got, but I know it wasn't the biggest and I know it wasn't the smallest. It was like somewhere in the middle and I got the shortest length possible. I'm also kind of just a, a smaller person. So I think this is 14 inches, um, if I'm not mistaken, but everything I got, like every bracelet and necklace, like the, it's always in the smallest option possible. So that is this one. It's so cute. And it's also like for the price point, very affordable for like a real diamond and real gold. Cost per wear, that's what I'm thinking of when I buy things. Next we'll do rings. So I have these three rings that I wear pretty much most of the time. Recently I haven't been wearing them because I've been going to the gym so much, like taking them on and off to lift weights, I like forget to put them back on. But I just wear them in random order, like I'll wear them all together sometimes, I'll wear them um, separately on different fingers, whatever. So today, I have this 11 stone ring, again from Furcos. These are actually all my rings are from Furcos <laughs> Fine Jewelry. Um, I love them. Like they, they know about me, I wish, but they don't. Uh, so I'm a big fan. This is an 11 stone diamond band. So I really wanted an eternity band with diamonds, but that was not quite in my price range. So I got this one, which has a very similar effect, but it's still beautiful and affordable. So. There it is. I'm sorry. I'm like so bad at showing. And I think this is just so dainty. Like it looks really great stacked with anything. So I have it stacked currently with like a solid gold band at this moment. Um, it's probably like maybe one and a half to two millimeters. It's really, really, really slim. And I just wanted a solid gold band to pair with whatever because I feel like it's just a good stacking ring and these two together look cute as well. So those are those two, again, both from Furcos. I mean, on this hand, I have like a gold twist ring. So it's kind of got that like twisty effect. And I also love the way this one looks paired with the, um, the diamond ring. But again, on its own, very cute. And now it fits my index finger the best. So that's what it's on. But yeah, really cute. I love that one. As for my bracelets, this is like the best part because I love my bracelet stack. I have this, I literally, so beautiful. It's this 14 karat, no, I think it's 18 karat gold um, and diamond. The diamonds are so small, you can barely notice them. But this bracelet, Little Bangle, is from David Yerman. I really wanted David Yerman, but again, I don't wear a lot of silver and that's kind of what they have. So I saw they had a little dainty gold bracelet and I was like, that's mine. So I have an unboxing video on it and also a short on it. So if you want more details about it, it's in there, but yeah. Love that one, and it looks so cute. <sighs> I'm getting out of breath, guys. Next is this gold bangle, and it kind of clasps and unclasps, and it has that like oval shape, which fits my wrist a lot better. This bangle, I wanted something like a three millimeter, I think, bangle, and so that's what I got with this. This is from Alte Jewelry, A-L-T-A-Y, on Etsy, and I wanna say, though, if you are someone, like I wear this every day, I don't take it off, um, but I've had it for maybe two years now and it has dents in it and it definitely gets um, dinged up because it's hollow in the inside. So that's something to think about. Um, the hollowness, I think a lot of people aren't necessarily sold on. For me, I'm not like too rough with my jewelry, so it hasn't been a problem and 
it does have dings but it doesn't bother me too much so if you are like a little bit rougher you know probably get something more solid gold but it is more affordable in that way because it's not solid and has the hollowness so that's something to think about they also have different size options and um, as far as thickness and wrist circumference and all that so I have I think a five and a half inch circumference wrist so I got this in the size extra small and same for the David Yerman it's also in an extra small of those I also wanted to pair them with two daintier bracelets so I have those as well let me show you so there they are I have one evil eye with a diamond in the middle that's 14 karat and then this one which is just kind of just a little diamond solitaire on a dainty chain um, starting with the diamond solitaire that one I got as a present from my mom so I don't really know where she got it from but I do know it's from, I think from eBay, so it might have been like used or vintage. She loves like vintage jewelry like that, so I, I bet that's where it's from. So yeah, that one's really cute. I don't ever take that off, or I take none of, the, none of these jewelry off. Then I have this Evil Eye. I love the Evil Eye. I used to have a blue one, and it fell off. So now I have this one. I'll always keep wearing one, I think even just for the superstition of it. I love that stuff. So I have it on my left hand, the Evil Eye and I think it's so cute. And the diamond's like a really good size for the price point. I just think it's so, so cute. So that is also from Furco's Fine Jewelry. I love my everyday jewelry. Very, very cute, very classic. Hopefully as years go by, I'll just keep adding to it and having more and more in my daily collection. But yeah, that's all I have for now. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know other types of content you'd like to see because I love taking requests and providing value for you guys. So yeah, I will see you all in my next video and hope you have a lovely day. Bye guys.